Guys, today I have something super unique and definitely not something you're going to find on YouTube. And it is this effect right over here. This is taking a complex SVG file, extracting the data and taking all those different parts as a mask over an image. And you can see over here that every single one is actually being rendered out on its own. This isn't using any added software, plugins, or anything like that. This is a straight code that I had made that I'm gonna be showing with you in this tutorial. Believe me when I say this was super hard to build, but it's super easy to implement. So do me a solid and do like this video to really get the algorithm to notice this channel a bit more. For all the guys that are in a hurry and wanna download the complete template, there's gonna be a link in the description below that's gonna give you that complete template and it will take you right over here. You can go and download it. And you can see this template in action over here and it'll give you everything you need to actually implement this on your own website. And let me just show you a couple of things about how to install it because it's not just the template that you're gonna need to use. So here's that zip file that was downloaded. I'm gonna extract it quickly. So over here, you can see there's a template and these are four SVGs that you have to put into your website in order for this to work because the code needs those four to position everything around how you'd like them. I am gonna show you how to make your own SVGs, which is very quick to do, but right now I'm just gonna show you how to install this. Okay, so here in Elementor, we are going to go and add that template. So we're gonna click this button there. In the library, we're gonna say import template. And this file right over here is the one we're gonna import first. Say so continue. And the template you're looking for is this one here that says animated morphing mask effect. So we're gonna say insert. Say apply. Now this will work straight off the bat because it will be referencing this type of masking from my website, but the aim of this is to really have it on yours. So if you click on the image and you go to advanced and mask, here's going to be the first mask that we're gonna be using in this build. So the reason why you have to go over here is because you do have to enable SVGs on your website and you can't do it just straight up in WordPress, but Elementor does allow you to do that. So if we click on this image over here, your library is gonna open up. And what we're gonna do is these four over here, we're gonna take them and drag them here into the library from Elementor. It's very important so that Elementor can actually do it for you. Once they've loaded up, you can see I've done this a couple of times over here, testing around with different SVGs. You can now open up the media library and you'll see them there. And you have to do that because we just need to put the four URLs of the four files into the code. Not hard to do. I'm gonna show you that quick. So here in the media library, you can see they've loaded up. It's actually these four, these four over here. So what we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to have to find the first one. So this is B3. For one okay so this is the b1 so it's the first svg that we're going to be importing into the code and remember we're not using the actual pictures themselves we are actually just extracting the code from them so we're going to copy this first url and now here in elemental here is the html widget with the code in it and you will see that there are these four different urls these are the ones from my website and we're just going to replace them from the ones in your website so this first one, I'm gonna go and highlight the whole thing. I'm gonna go and paste. And we're gonna do that for the other three as well. So that was B1. Here is B2, copy. We look for the second URL, we paste it in there. Just make sure you keep the quotes though. There we look for number three, right over there, copy URL, put it as the third. And then the fourth one, same thing, copy. And we put it in the fourth position. Again, making sure that it's inside these quotes. And then that's it, it's done, it's working. So whatever SVGs that you want to make, then you can just put the URLs in here and it'll work just fine. So if we preview this, you can see this exact example is now being shown with the SVGs from your website. It's a bit of a step, I try to go around it, but at the end of the day, this is a custom build. So um, there's certain things you just have to do. Now for everyone else who really wants to build this, very easy for you to do. And I'm gonna show you how to make the SVG files. In the description of this video, there's going to be a link as well for the reference page on my website. And it's gonna be this page right over here. So if you scan down, you can go and see that we are gonna be using a CSS class name and we're gonna be using a script. Here, you can also download those same SVG files as the example for you when you're actually going through this tutorial. 
so you can just use those and you can build your SVG some other time once you've seen this thing working on your own site. But right now, what we're going to be doing is building those SVGs. Very quick, very easy. Now, you can use something like Figma. Figma can make SVGs pretty well. Um, another free resource as well is going to be Inkscape. Inkscape is downloadable software, which is free. So you can also build over here. Me personally, in this video, I'm going to be using Illustrator because I've got it really. So I might as well do it in there. So here in Illustrator, I'm going to make a whole bunch of different blocks or circles or anything else like that. It doesn't matter what you actually make in your SVG. I found that the more blocks you have, the cooler the effect. You can see over here, there's a whole bunch of different little blocks floating around and they're all going through their parts from beginning to end of the four different positions. So here in Illustrator, I'm just going to make a whole bunch of different blocks. Here, I'm just going to get the, uh, this drawing tool. I'm going to go for a rectangle. You can use circles as well. You can actually mix them up, totally up to you, or you can make custom shapes. And in each one of those four different files, you can actually just move it around. So you can actually animate every single block or pattern or whatever you make into different positions there and then the software will code out the path for you. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a whole bunch of different small blocks here. So it's just a little one there, 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 and I think I'm gonna make a whole bunch of square ones. Something just to note while I'm building this out, you can see that I actually had some sticking out over here of the border of this frame. The cool thing about the code is it'll see that there was stuff outside of the border and it'll actually bring it in. So you can actually have hidden items over here that can come into frame. We need to save the second copy of this because the idea over here is to keep all these different objects inside every single one of those pictures. Sounds confusing, but you'll see it in action here. And what I'm also going to do is overlap a lot of these blocks. I'm going to keep on making a whole bunch of blocks. So I'm going to cut it out of this actual video of me actually making this because it's just going to be taking long. Okay, so here is a whole bunch of little blocks that I set and made. I have no idea how many there are right up here, but I made a whole stack of these things. So now that I have this type of design finished, what I'm going to do over here is just save this file. Now over here, what I'm going to call this is maybe just mask one. Now I have to make sure that it's an SVG. So there it is, it's saved. Now I must make mask two. So the cool thing about this is I just have to rotate it 90 degrees. So this over here, I've selected everything rotated like 90 degrees it doesn't have to be perfect and then i'm just going to save two there's my second one now i'm going to make my third one very easy to do as well just turn it again 90 degrees this can be my third mask now i'm going to do the fourth one rotate it again 90 degrees so in essence you are going to make a complete 360 so now i'm going to save this and there we go i have four different masks that i just made from that little design and again, if you wanted to move these things around, say you wanted this one over here and that one there, as long as you keep all the objects you created within each one of those four files you just made, then it's going to be working flawlessly. Do play around with your designs. I'm sure you can make up some really cool stuff, but we're going to move on and build that page because I have those four masks. So here in Elemental, very easy to implement. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to structure out something very basic and then we're going to do the magic. So I'm going to start off with my main container that will house everything. I'll choose that one there. Make sure it is full width at 100. The height I'm going to change to VH 100. You don't have to copy this design. This image effect works straight on the image. Okay, so this is just to showcase this to you. Now over here, what I'm going to do is the direction is going to be horizontal and I just want everything to be centered. So inside, what I'm going to do is put two containers. The one will house the image and the other will house some text and a button. So let me just add that. So next container and then duplicate it over there. So now I have the two there. The first one will have the image and the second one I'll put in a title, a text editor and a button. There we go. So let me just stylize this quick. So the title I was going to make it black real quick the text do the same thing just make it black and the button do my classic one that I always do so black background is invisible uh, border type can be solid with a three pixel and a border radius can be zero then hover make text color white background black 
and the border stays black so it does that and then maybe just make the topography here 18 and transform can be uppercase it really isn't important it's just to showcase this to you now we can get on to the good stuff the last thing we have to add to this page is an html widget so we click the plus sign we say html click and drag that across can put it underneath the image it doesn't have to be underneath the image somewhere on the page right at the bottom if you want to it's fine or you can do it as a custom global code inside elemental so the choice is up to you how you want to put it in but here in the tutorial just using the html widget underneath the image so now that we have that done let's go and actually just get the code and put it in so long so in that reference page i'm going to take the css class name over here to say copy and i'm going to give it to the image so under advanced of the image i'm going to go to css classes and paste it there then in the reference page i'm going to copy the script and i'm going to paste it in the html widget now you are going to have to do the same thing as i showed in how to load up the svgs so just remember we need the four mask urls okay so to add them in as easy as possible we are going to use elementor to do it otherwise we'd have to get a third-party plugin to enable svg uploads into your media library because wordpress doesn't allow it just as a default here in the image the first thing we're going to do is actually just select an image to animate over so i'll select that one it doesn't actually matter whatever image it is it's just whatever you'd like it to be and then under advanced we are going to go down to mask we're going to enable this and it's just to actually have a placeholder mask here so that we know it's the mask the code doesn't actually need this so i'm just going to go to custom and now you can upload so here you can upload all those newly created svg files and elementor will allow you to do that so here's those four svgs that we had just made and i'm just going to drag it in and let go so now you can see those are the ones that i had just made here in this tutorial i'm going to look for the first one just as the placeholder there now in a second tab in your browser you are going to need to go to the media library because we have to get those urls so we look for our first one and we're going to start with our first mask so we're going to copy this url and in the code itself the very first mask we are going to paste that url there again just make sure that it's inside the quotes then we go to the second mask copy the url and we paste in the second one and we keep doing this for all four so we go to our third one copy paste fourth one copy and paste i promise you're going to see some other guys making the same video because they're going to be using my code because they can't replicate this code i guarantee you anyways but this is it this is we're done we're done so there are different things we can do while we're here so if we go down you can see that there's a whole bunch of different things happening if i stretch this out if you want to control the speed or the type of animation so you can do it right about the middle of the code there's going to be this piece right over here that i have commented and it says these next lines control the animation so if you wanted the animation speed to revolve around quicker you can change this three seconds to four five or six um, if you don't want it to be linear and you want it to be something like easy in out power whatever the case is you can change that right there just keep in mind that you need to keep this mina dot there so it'll be mina dot easy in out mina dot power in out okay so just keep that there because with the library referencing that it's doing it has to have that mina dots okay so if it all of a sudden doesn't work because you've changed that type of easing then it's because of that so please mina dots keep it there but besides those two things there's nothing really else you need to do so once we've done all this all you have to do is publish real hard huh i promise you this was so hard to make but the effect is so cool and there will be so many things that you can do with this that no one else has but let's go and publish this in the front end now here is that exact svg and all those little blocks that i had made working here and revolving around with the animation now again you can put circles a whole bunch of things you whatever design you want there it is so i just have this as linear so it's got that little bit of a bounce like that um, but again easy and out whatever type of animation easing you want put it in 
Um, if you, this is too slow for you, you can speed it up, slow it down. The choice is yours. It doesn't matter the size of the image as well. So if I go here in Elemental and I just delete the second container with all the text and I make this one full width like this and I publish, you can see how this thing scales. So you can actually go to town with this sort of design. And this is proper clipping. So if I change this whole container's background to some other color, let me make it as black for an example. Again, it'll still work. It's actual proper clipping happening over here. Definitely not something you're going to see often. <laughs> but the effect is so cool and there's going to be a lot of creative ways that you guys can actually use this. I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing as well. That stuff makes a big difference to a small channel like mine. If you have any suggestions or anything, then just put a comment down below. Let me see what I can do. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. So